Hello everyone, this is Sarah. Um, today is May the 8th. Today's May the 8th, it's a Friday. Um, I have either three or four packages going out today. I'm not really sure. I have one item that I've been waiting on payment for um, from since yesterday. So I'm really hoping that this customer um, pays for this item today because if she doesn't pay for it in time for me to ship it out today, I'll really feel pressured to ship it tomorrow. And I don't like to ship on Saturdays, um, especially tomorrow. I have to work extra hours at my second job. And given that it's Mother's Day weekend, I just don't want to have to deal with it tomorrow. But I will if I have to. So anyway, that item is an ice cream cone cookie jar. Um cookie jars can do good sometimes sometimes they don't I've actually sold a few um, when I did the the uh, clean out of the resale shop here there were a few cookie jars in there and I've sold this one which sold here, I'll show you again this was sold for twenty two dollars and fifty cents plus shipping um, there was some other ones there there was one that was supposed to look like a yacht club or something um, I don't remember what brand, and I sold one that was an M&M cookie jar. Um, not sure. I have another one that hasn't sold yet. It's supposed to look like a schoolhouse or something. Uh, there might have been one more, but I'm not sure. So anyway, this particular one I have seen advertised as a McCoy on the internet, like everywhere. It, but it doesn't say McCoy on it. I'm familiar with McCoy. I'm familiar with the you know it looks like it's kind of hand scratched into the bottom a little bit and I know what that looks like uh, I have some other pieces that are McCoy I should have grabbed one so I could show you but if you look up like McCoy cookie jar or McCoy vase or anything like that and you look through the pictures um, on the bottom you'll see what I'm talking about it's very recognizable this one doesn't have it on there it has the USA that you also see but I don't see a McCoy on it so I just I just put that in the listing like hey you know I've seen this exact one advertised as a McCoy it doesn't say that on the bottom so just use your own judgment on that but anyway like I said it sold yesterday and I'm still waiting on the buyer um, to pay me so I'm hoping that she pays me soon because I have to go to work in a few hours and if she doesn't pay me within three hours then I'm gonna have to ship it tomorrow um, Okay, so another item I have, I can't really show you because it's wrapped up in a, in a Kleenex, a clean Kleenex. Um, it's one of the thimbles that I had purchased at a garage sale last summer. This one, it's a um, Royal Worcester brand. It's made with bone china, had birds and flowers on it. It sold for $4 plus shipping. So that's not um, <clears throat> a big sale, but it's another four dollars and they're super easy I just get a little box and wrap with a little bubble wrap throw in the box and you know good to go so the next item I have is this vintage computer mouse it's from Radio Shack it sold for $8.99 plus shipping I bought this for 50 cents it would be worth a little bit more but it's supposed to have a some kind of DVD software in the package and that's missing so so this sold for a little bit less than what it would have sold for if it had had the DVD, but still, I mean, it was an easy pickup. I'll wrap it with some bubble wrap, put it in a padded mailer, <clears throat> and it'll be fine. Um, so the last one I have is a golf club. I had got a bunch of golf clubs in a donation. <clears throat> this is King Cobra M60 on it. I don't know anything about golf clubs, but, you know, I just described it as good as I could. I took the maximum amount of pictures. It, um, <clears throat> it needs a new, you know, you can tell the handle is kind of starting to split here a little bit. So they may need to put a new handle on it at some point. But this sold for $22.50 plus shipping. I had had it listed for $29.99, but it's been listed for a while. I these I don't really have a good storage space for these I just have them up on top of a shelf I have some more shelves in my laundry room that look like those ones and so my golf clubs are just they're just sitting up there and so they get dusty and so then I have to re-clean it when I sell one so I would just like to get them out of here this in particular of course golf clubs are different lengths 
but these boxes you can get free from the post office. This one is called the medium mailing tube. You fold it with the red side out if you're just shipping priority. If you're shipping priority mail express, you fold it with the blue side out. So, um, yeah, you can just order <clears throat> free boxes from USPS.com and they mail them to you and they come pretty quickly. Um, of course, they're only to be used for priority. Lots of people misuse these items and I really wish people would not do that or they may stop giving them to us for free. Um, I've heard of people using the pad and mailers as packing material. You guys don't do that. Um, um, it's just, it, it's theft. If you ask me, don't do that. Use these boxes for shipping priority, period. Okay. Um, so that we can continue to get these for free. Cause I don't know about you guys, but it's really convenient to get these boxes and, um, materials and it's, it's helpful to me. So anyway, that's what I will be shipping that golf club in. It's about two inches, two to three inches longer than the actual golf club. So that'll give me some room to wrap. I'll be wrapping the um, head of the golf club and the handle of the golf club in enough bubble wrap to where it doesn't move inside the box and uh, package it up. It should be pretty easy to ship out. So I'm going to get going so I can get these wrapped up and sent off to the post office. I really appreciate you watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more. Thanks.